Hey guys, so I wanna talk about why mastering your flat lays when you're photographing a wedding actually makes you a more high-end wedding photographer and how learning how to do this really well can really help you grow in your business. So if you're new here and you've never seen my face before, I'm Samia, I'm a wedding photographer and I make a lot of educational videos on things I've learned photographing weddings. I'm extremely passionate about wedding photography, so if you're a wedding photographer too, go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment and introduce yourself because I would love to get to know you more. Okay, so I feel like I have photographed a lot of different flat lays over the years when I started doing weddings and they look really different back then than they do now. Um, and I have just been coming to the realization in recent times of that the more cohesive you can make an entire wedding gallery, the more high end that gallery actually looks. And that kind of concept um, goes into all parts of the wedding. So not, not only have I learned to photograph the actual wedding day details better, but I've also learned um, how to think about them and like my pro thought process for what I'm actually putting in those positions and like what I'm actually laying out in a certain way and how that relates to the overall gallery. So I feel like a high-end photographer is really thinking about the entire gallery as a whole a lot more than um, like maybe somebody who hasn't been doing it for that long and I feel like that's come into play with me um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of examples okay, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this gallery and how what I'm talking about so right here this is a photo of some details I did at a recent wedding um, you'll notice they're a little bit simplistic a little bit minimalistic and they have these flowers plain background um, it fits in well with this design because at the reception, the tablecloths were also plain, and this style is a little bit, it's super beautiful, super traditional, but just minimalistic. There's not a ton of pattern play. Um, so I knew the design and asked, you know, about, you know, the planner, you know, what is the design for this and knew that it was going to be this way um, and like what it would look like and so I crafted a details that look similar also these flowers there's only a few because her bouquet was a little bit minimal too but it's the same flowers um, so you know if I had done for example this tablecloth was beautiful but it only appeared one time in the only on one table in the cocktail hour and you never see it any other part of the wedding and her colors are blue so this potentially could have been a good flat lay background but I'm not sure it would be that cohesive with the rest of the wedding um, because the rest of the wedding was super minimal so just Thinking ahead to what would make a beautiful album, a beautiful cohesive story, a, a thought that makes sense, um, is something that's been really helpful. I wrote this too, having a cohesive vision is important when photographing a wedding and I wanted to show you this little example on the left of tying everything together. So I used a custom painted black drop um, for the details of this wedding that you'll see in the middle and I feel like it really does tie everything together because you'll see in these details I pulled a little piece of green which I don't always add green unless we're doing a lot of green outside again you know trying to tie that vision together then her you know her stationery this little gold plate makes sense because a lot of her reception had gold decor in it so i feel like for this wedding i was just you know doing the same thing pulling together different things and it looks good all together and if i had done this on in a different way it might not have looked that cohesive of a vision so the details dresses decor everything kind of ties together beautifully and if i could go back maybe i would even use actually one of these plates um for that for this in this decor i just didn't have access to them so really you become both a director and a photographer when you get into the higher end wedding market and that is something that i think is so exciting i think that you're not just you know photographing things as they unfold but you'll see like i was talking about in those detail photos you really become somebody whose proactive effort is changing the photo and really like an art director so all of these photos when you go with this approach it feels like a wedding day is a bunch of a toolbox of supplies that you are going to like use and like create art with instead of something that is kind of out of your control um, and that's what really makes photography exciting because it is what you make it um i also just wanted to touch on the fact that wedding planners really look for this curation skill and this curation piece from photographers too so your ability to take a bunch of random details and make them look good make them make sense um, really comes into play when you get into like working with other vendors and that also helps you as a high like become more of a high-end wedding photographer if that's something you're aiming to do i would really love to see you guys this flat lay details i always love getting inspired 
inspired by how people are doing other things. So feel free to leave a comment, link me to your most recent wedding, blog post, anywhere there is a flat lay that you're like, I love this one. Um, leave a comment, let me know. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be talking more about flat lays, backdrop, backdrops, backgrounds, and a lot more things next week. So I'll see you here next week on YouTube.